Tonight, we will attack the porcupine's eye and finish it off. Late in the afternoon, Jiap hears the fateful news from his 312th division. All enemy soldiers in the command post have surrendered. We have arrested the castries. Suddenly, everyone in the headquarters shouted, clapped their hands and hugged one another. They jumped for joy like children. Some people cried, others stood with their mouths gaping. The faces of others turned pale with shock. French commander de Castries, who has been promoted to brigadier general during the battle, becomes a prisoner of war. He will be released after four months. One of the lucky ones. 1,500 men under his command are dead. Several thousand more are wounded. evacuates a fortunate few hundred of the Viet Minh's 10,000 prisoners. But most are force marched to prisoner of war camps hundreds of kilometers away. Less than 4,000 will survive to be repatriated to France. Casualties are 15,000 wounded and 8,000 dead. Victory at the Embien Phu creates a wave of euphoria across the country. Nhok Bang Vu, a civil servant, in the French administration. At first, we couldn't believe it. The Europeans, so big and strong, with all their tanks and aeroplanes, beaten by us. Humble little Vietnamese. Farmers, school teachers, factory workers. We were so proud. <laughs> <laughs> 